What's up everyone? Karu here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we're going to solve the mystery of what racket I'm using. We get tons of comments every time I post a video that I'm like, are you even paying attention to what I'm saying? Or are you just trying to figure out uh, which racket I'm using? Obviously, um, I was playing with the Ezone for a while uh, and I tested a lot of rackets for, for the channel. So I'm always sort of like playing with something different, but I finally narrow it down to one racket that I, I truly, truly love. And I switched to it. Um, I don't have that many of them, but you know, I've just been kind of using a couple. And so I'm going to tell you, so we put this, this matter to bed um, and you guys know what I'm playing with, what's my setup. So I'll go over it and hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to buy the same racket, um, I will leave a link down below and let's get right to it. All right, so here's my bag really cool tennis bag that I will be talking about in the future so make sure uh, you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that out um, and if you, also if you want to know what's on my bag on a daily basis maybe I'll do a video like that so leave a comment below if you want to see that um, but my racket ooh, the suspense uh, what am I using okay. and it is ta-da V-Core 95 that's what I'm, what I'm using. Uh, I love this rack and now I know there's confusion out there and this is why. Here's a, a V-Core 95, the one that Yonex sells. And here's also a V-Core 95 and it's not the Galaxy Black from the previous generation. It is the current 2021 version of the V-Core 95, uh, but it's a pre-release version. Uh, the ones that the pros get to, to train uh, before, you know, just to, to, before the rackets are released um, so they can figure out if they like the racket or don't, don't like the racket. Um, so they send it all black out like this, which is really cool. Um, I love it. I love the black one. Everyone is always asking me like, what racket is that? Because it just, nothing like a black racket, right? Just all black. It's just cool. Um, obviously I got the leather grip here. Um, but yeah, so if you ever see me playing with this weird obscure racket that no one knows what it is, um, that I play with it more than I actually play with the red one because I just love it more. Um, it is a V-Core 95, 2021 V-Core 95. Okay, so about my V-Core 95, um, it's the same specs as an, the normal V-Core 95. Um, I'll put it here somewhere in the corner in the specs, but uh, what I did with it, um, added a leather grip because you have to add the leather, the leather grip to any racket, it's just better. Uh, Yonex leather grip, so it's awesome. Um, and with the customization, uh, I honestly don't even know <laughs> exactly the, the, the number here of how many grams this racket is. Um, but what I did, uh, I was playing a while back when I was switching to this racket, I, I went and played a little UTR event and I played a couple matches and, and it just felt a little bit light on the head, I'm used to uh, heavy heavy rackets. The one I was playing before uh, was a customized red head speed uh, that I had from when I was sponsored by Head. Um, longer, way heavier than this, 100 square inches head size. Um, so I'm, I'm used to playing with heavy rackets. I didn't want to play with like that heavy of a racket this time. Uh, so what I did, I, I picked up this um, Yonex little weight strips. Um, I'll make a little close up of them, um, but they're a little bit thicker than your typical like tape uh, for for weight. And I didn't want to put um, more than uh, than two of them because again they're a little bit thick. I didn't want to make it too head heavy, uh, so I put like you see that I balanced like I put one on one side, one on the other side. I don't know if that's good or not. I'm not a huge like gear head. I'm not like crazy about my specs. Uh, I go more by feel. Um, when I did this. I played a match the next day and it just felt great. It felt how I wanted to feel. It was a little more stable on the head. It was a little bit better for the volleys. I really brought the, um, helped the serve a little bit, just move through it. And it was just sort of perfect. I was like, oh, this is it. If it's, it's supposed to be like this, I don't know. But I honestly don't really care. Again, I go a lot more by feel. So um, I am guessing this is at about 315 grams. You know what? One second. Okay, so as I was saying, I don't know actually the, the, the real specs, uh, how heavy this racket is. Uh, so we're, we actually get, have a little scale here. So let's find out together. Uh, let's figure this out. Um, 
Okay, let's do it. See what happens. All right, so we have 340 grams. Mystery solved. Um, if uh, that's what you guys wanted to know, my specs and whatnot, my, my current racket with strings, with um, the leather grip, with a little bit of lead tape is 340 grams. So that was actually nice. Uh, we just got this for cooking, but now I guess I can use it for my rackets as well. So yeah, this is the racket. Um, now, why did I switch to this? Um, to be honest, um, my speeds, I really liked my speed, but they were getting a little bit older um, and obviously they were custom made and I can't get my hands on custom made rackets anymore. So, you know, I was, because I was testing a lot of rackets, I was looking for new rackets in the market. Um, I didn't really like the E-Zone, but I don't know what it was, the stiffness, there was a lot of vibrations that with time my, my arm would get sore from playing with it. So I, I tried to stay away from it. And then I finally, you know, went out to play with Marcos once. He just gave me uh, one of these rackets to test it out. And I was like, this is fantastic. Now, uh, what do I really like about it? It's 1620 string pattern. Um, I used to play with the old V Core Duo G uh, for many years. I won all my tournaments, all my future titles uh, with that V Core Duo G uh, 1620, the 330 gram one. And I loved that racket. And then the following year after the black one, the Vicor Dual G, the black one, they, they switched to a 1619 pattern, Yonix did. And I just couldn't play with it. Um, the way I play, I play a little bit too, not I wouldn't say flat, but through the court. Um, and I need um, a little bit more control uh, from the racket. And so I switch, end up switching to an 1820 speed. So this racket at 1620, one of the few rackets still that, that are at 1620, um, and it's just great for my game is just fantastic now what I like about it is that um, I can play through the court of my game whenever I want to play flat whenever I want to like bunt a little bit of a backhand or you know play my forehand a little bit flatter but it does really it, it it's a great racket for actually topspin um, I, I even like talked to, to Marcos about this is a great racket for you know looping a ball when you're in a difficult situation making it land deep um, again for my game for for the way i hit the ball every time i need to come up come up with like a little bit more of like a loopy shot with a little more top spin i actually get a lot of action from this racket and it's not something that um, i get from a lot of rackets uh, you know i naturally don't have that much top spin uh, but this one just gives me uh, the right amount whenever I want to like whip the ball around, pull an angle or something like that. So it's really maneuverable, really love um, how this racket feels in those situations. So that's what, that's something that um, I really enjoy about it. I, probably, I have a full review on it. Uh, you guys can check it out, I'll leave it down below. But that, those are the couple of things that I really enjoy. And another thing that I really love about this racket is serving. I, it's, one of the best rackets I've ever served with. It, I, it's precise, it gives me a lot of power, like easy power. Um, I don't really know why. Um, it's not necessarily a racket that's made for power, but I think just for the way I play, it truly, truly helps it with me with my serve. I, this is the best I've ever served. It's not because of the racket. I've, you know, my, my motion is better than it was when I was playing um, pros. Um, I've done a lot of work on my serve. Um, but this racket just complements my, my, my stroke really well, uh, my serving motion really well. And I love it for both first, second serves. Uh, I got a, a lot of spin on my kicks and just in general, fantastic racket for serving. And the last thing I love about it is that it gives me a lot of a confidence on creating a variety with my shots. So it's, I like slicing with it. Um, again, I like, uh, it helps me with the high loopy balls whenever, whenever I wanna hit those. Um, and I can still play my game playing through the court, taking the ball early. So I just feel like I have a lot of a lot of control of everything that is happening. If I want to, you know, throw in a little bit junk of a slice or you know a junk high ball, um, I can and I can trust that I'm going to hit it a, a good deep ball uh, with it. And whenever I just want to just go at it flat and you know hit right at the guy's feet, I can do it as well. So there's a a confidence in the variety um, of with this racket and once I get to the net you know with with a little bit of weight it's gotten better in terms of stability um, I think 
one of the drawbacks I felt like before without the weight was that it was a little bit unstable on the head. But besides that, um, I mean, I really have very little complaints about this racket. I guess my only complaint about it is that I don't like this color. I, I don't know why the red and, and, and blue. I don't know. That doesn't really do it for me. I mean, keep it all red, I guess, with different shades of red. Um, no, not a huge fan of this blue. Um, but besides that, I really don't have any complaints. Now, um, a 95 square inch racket isn't necessarily the most modern. Uh, not that many people are playing with 95 square inches anymore. Um, would it be nice if it was the same specs, but 97? Um, I probably would play with a 97 uh, if they had that. Uh, but at the same time, because of the, the weird shape that that Yonex always has uh, when you you know put it in a horizontal here that you would be hitting the ball there is actually a lot of a lot of space here to hit the ball so you don't end up like miss hitting as much it's not like playing with like a 95 prestige that feels really small that this doesn't feel small it feels right um, but again if they made a 97 maybe that's what I would play with but overall I just really like this racket um, it fits my game perfectly maybe if you play somewhat like me you really enjoy it i've been recommended it to a lot of people uh this stick and i mean i really only have good things to say about it I can i can't really have any complaints and i hope this video puts uh this matter to rest everyone knows what i'm playing with it now this is my setup um, in terms of stringing i'm stringing with head link store which i had had a bunch of them uh, from when I was sponsored and I love this string. It's comfortable, it's soft, um, but you know, it has a lot of feel. I like, I don't like dead muted strings. I like strings that I can feel the ball if I'm hitting them in the center or not. I, the same with my rackets. I like rackets that I can feel uh, the ball if I'm miss hitting or not. I don't like dead muted rackets. So um, head link store, I string around 58. Um, I know that's high, but I always played with 58. I'm just used to it. so. My setup is V-Core 95 um, at, with 340 grams, like we just saw, head link store, um, 58 pounds, uh, strong at 58 pounds. So this is my setup. Uh, this is what I'm playing with every single day. Um, I have a V-Core 98 that I actually play with um, sometimes, just because I only have two of these, so sometimes I break strings and I need that V-Core 98. But, this is it. This is the setup. Um, I love this racket. I highly recommend it. So if you want to pick, pick some of these up, I'll leave a link down below for Tennis Warehouse. Uh, we truly appreciate if you use the links. It really helps the channel um, and us putting out more content. But yeah, I love this thing. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that's my setup. Vcore 90, 2021 Vcore 95. Uh, so if you guys see in the comments below, <laughs> people asking what racket is he using? Uh, just send him a link to this video um, because this is my setup and I love it. Love the Vcore 95. I can't really have no complaints about it besides the color. And make sure to check out mytennishq.com. Got a bunch of new articles there. Um, probably some stuff about Roland Garros there as well. Uh, follow us on social media at mytennishq on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, help us get through that 10,000 followers barrier that we haven't been able to crack so far. Um, and let me know in the comments, what are you using? Are you planning on switching to, to one of these rackets? Uh, what's your current setup? I'd love to know. And I'll see you guys on the next one.